Ja, wir als IT Audio haben äh, für IT Audio designed the audio infrastructure here on behalf of NIYU. That's NIYU Media Projects, who do all of BMW Group's stand design and planning. We were responsible for the audio design from a relatively early phase. Even for the outline design for the tender, we were considering what we would have to deliver for the shows, what would be happening during the day-to-day -day operation of the stand during the exhibition, how we would take care of the press conference. We had to come up with a plan for all these aspects with the information that was available at the time. Dazu eben ein Grundkonzept geschrieben. There are around 500 live audio channels on the stand, assigned to the various different regions on the stand itself and its adjacent areas, plus a few themed zones dedicated to highlighting particular markets, motorbikes, electric vehicles, and so on. And three lounges, which are also connected. Putting all of this together in QSIS was very straightforward. It's a very user-friendly system, right down to the control panels on the walls in each room that allow you to adjust the volume or select different audio sources. For this project, we were also required to bring the PAVA into the system, so that the loudspeaker systems on our stand can be overridden and safety messages played throughout all of our different areas. We achieved this with an IO22, built into the exhibition center's PA control room. There's an emergency break contact there, which operates if there's a fire or other emergency situation. This mutes the PAVA system on our stand and routes emergency messages in our system via QLAN. From there, we can send those messages all over our stand and its related areas. We calibrated the whole system once it was installed and tuned it to give us the best possible intelligibility throughout the stand. So, our QSIS setup consists of two Core 500s, two I.O. frames, a remotely situated I.O. 22 frame, and three TSC3 touchscreens that are built into areas adjacent to the stand. The system that routes emergency messaging through an I.O. 22 is off-stand in another hall in the Exhibition Center's main PA room. Here, QSIS takes inputs from three mixing consoles, two Timax hubs, and various audio sources, including a couple of microphones. It can route all these sources anywhere on the stand they need to go. And diverse Einzelzuspieler, teilweise Mikrofone, die durchgeroutet werden auf bestimmte Bereiche. My name is Hans-Jörg Wenzel. I'm a design consultant for FilmTech here on the VW stand. FilmTech are tasked with project design on almost all of the trade exhibitions VW attends, and my role is to take care of all the audio system design for the IAA. As far as audio infrastructure is concerned, the IAA has always been our biggest and most demanding project, with the most action on the stand. This year we could see from relatively early on that the stand was going to need a lot of audio channels to deliver everything that was planned. Every audio management system has a limit beyond which the processor can't handle any more channels, and the products I had been using were already about there, so I started looking around at others. QSIS seemed capable of delivering an impressive amount of power and number of channels without requiring very much, relatively speaking, in the way of space or outlay. It seemed made for the job. QSIS is the central matrix for all the audio here on the stand. In principle, every signal is routed through it, and also all the routing data generated by the Timax hubs. The outputs from various different mixers all over the stand are combined here and routed onto our power amps. Another aspect that was very important for us here was that we needed to use a lot of delays. There are a lot of loudspeakers on the roof that are used to fulfill different roles throughout the show. Our PA is set up to output at a lot of different reference levels. And then there's the Timax, which also routes into the whole setup. So having a very generous delay matrix built right into QSIS that was pretty simple to operate, that was a big plus point for us. Our original design for the stand was pretty simple and was very quick to put together in QSIS. But, as always, there were a few different creative approaches to this project. These ended up adding to what we eventually delivered, but also meant we had to expand our design plans PDQ. But because QSIS is so scalable, it was easily taken care of. Once we had the basic design, going from, say, 64 inputs to 128 in the software was easy. 
Just a matter of copying, really. And we soon got the results that we needed. Das Ganze relativ schnell weiter zu kopieren, um dann da immer noch zu einem schnellen Ergebnis zu kommen.